Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Been a bit of a delay since the last episode just because of some real life busyness sorting out my new PC. But we're back here and ready to continue our expedition and currently this series is mostly focusing on EVE and trying desperately to get a Kerbal back from the surface alive. So let's see what we can do about that. So currently we've got two ships, well three ships in total, waiting to refuel and come back to the surface. Uh, but none of them have the Delta V required to go from EVE back to Kerbin. So we are going to need to do a bit of a rescue mission there. Um, we also have the refueling pod out there in EVE, which is now out of fuel, having done its rescue mission of its own. So we've got quite a few Kerbals who need picked up. I think it's about time we design, build, and launch our actual rescue ship. It's not going to be required to land on EVE, but it is going to need a lot of Delta V to pick up all the various capsules in probably a low EVE orbit, and then take everybody safely back to Kerbin and land them, hopefully. Now, first things first, I want to check how many Kerbals we need to save here. So to begin with, let's jump over to the roof. So we've had one, two, three, four, five Kerbals in. The four original crew plus the one they rescued. Got a little bit of Delta V, but not exactly much here. Might be able to use this to put out in a little bit of a higher orbit, but really not much. And on the planet, we've got the Heinlein and the Hespheus. So that's another two, bringing the total up to seven. The other Heinlein was unmanned, so we've got another Hespheus down here. So that's eight in total that we're going to be able to rescue in the next one. So we need eight total ones. There is another Kerbal down here in this Hespheus, but we've not sent a rescue probe to that. So they're staying there for the long haul for now. Still, that gives us a total of eight. Yeah, so we're going to need a fairly chunky rescue vessel to fit all of those Kerbals in. And just for something different, I've never really used the Mark III cockpit successfully, so I'm going to go for that. Plus it gives us half of the crew requirement right off the bat. I'm going to try putting this together, and I will catch you after the time lapse. Okay, so here we have the Astronaut Rescue Mission Yuta Reusable and Nuclear General Exploration Rocket. It is a thing. It is a very expensive thing. 
but in theory it should be able to get to Eve, puddle around Eve for a while, and then get back. Should have enough parachutes to make a landed uh, entry in Kerbin. So yeah, we'll just have to see how this goes. It is a weird looking rocket, but should in theory work, touch wood, a few dozen times. Have to make sure we're not taking any Kerbals on this, although we absolutely could. We've got passenger modules for days here. We can do a lot more than uh, we necessarily need to. Okay, to largely pay for this, I'm gonna pick up this mission construct a new solar station in orbit. Our station will count as this. All I need to do is put on a docking port. Okay, detect two comments with Sentinel telescopes. That will be free money. We've already got those out in orbit. So this thing just needed a docking port, so I'll whack that on. Okay, well, nothing else to do, but turn SAS on, put thrust to full, and see if we can get this thing off the ground. Okay, fairly sluggish at launch, but we'll just have to do our best. I'll try and keep it vertical for a while. It does not look like it wants to be stay vertical. Oh, I think the wings are really throwing it off. Okay, I think the wings were throwing it off with drag on the top, wanting it to flip over. That's okay, because I don't really need the wings, because I've got enough parachutes so I can just land this thing anyway, more or less intact. So I'm going to lose the wings entirely. So I don't quite have enough funds to launch this, but I can just sell some science. That will give me enough funds to cover it. Okay, after some dithering back and forth, what I've decided on is just to cut the wings off the top section. That should now just be fine. And I've just put fins on the bottom to help it with stability. Otherwise, same idea, fingers crossed. We really don't have much money left, so let's hope we can manage this one. It's already not the greatest of a sense, but wobbly, but we'll do our best. Well, there's just a lot of drag on the top compared to everywhere else. Reaching sword stage burnout. And decouple. Nice, separation's good. The atmosphere, so we'll turn us towards the sun and burn as hard as we can. Currently in a very vertical trajectory. Okay, out of the atmosphere, so we're going to deploy solar panels and communication. Right, main stage burnout. It's a rocket stage gun, so the couple. Nuclear stages go. Didn't quite get into orbit on the other stages, but close enough that it should be okay. And we are now in a stable orbit. Take of efficiency, I'm stopping the burn there. Gonna reignite on our next orbit. Here yeah, I got a three and a half minute burn to escape Kerbin. Oh, and you know what I accidentally did? Uh, because I took a break between the last launch and this one. I forgot to deselect the bloody people. Uh, so I'm taking these scientists along with us. <laughs> the entire, all of our Kerbals are going to be in Eve very shortly. Oh well, 
plenty of space for the others, so that's not really an issue. Yeah, escape trajectory. Yeah, and while we were escaping orbit, we got the contract to get to uh, Sentinel things mapped. We are now in orbit with the sun, so we just need to maintain stability for 10 seconds and we'll get the other contract. Uh, I'm not sure why that's not completing. 4,000 units of fuel, 9 Kerbals, maintain stability, orbit of the sun, has an antenna, uh, the docking port, must have deleted the docking port at some point, shit. Never mind. Yeah, we got a 3 minute burn to get to the target. There we go, I've got an intercept. So now just come in and do the circularization, only costs 300 delta V. And there we go, circularized. Okay, so the rescue vessel is on site. We've got over 4,000 delta V to play with. We need about 1,000 of that to return to Kerbin. So, fair enough. Unfortunately, we did mess up, so we're not going to get the extra money without launching another version of the ship, which costs us more money than we have, but never mind. Yeah, and my things barely have any few arts oh, still updating. Yep, they really have not mined much fuel at all because the thermal efficiency is really bad. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to have to wait for those to uh, do their job. It's going to take quite a while, I think. Uh, mostly because I forgot to put radiators on any of the mining equipment, which really, really screws up their efficiency. But anyway, everything's in position now, so next time we will try to get some of those things off the ground, and then we will try and bring some curtains home. I hope you look forward to that. If you are, please do like, comment, subscribe. All really does help the channel. And otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Until then, remember to be kind to yourself and everyone else. Cheers.